here from NellieBelly.com and Lynette, who's making the Hello. camera today. And we're going to be making a fruit monkey bread. So it's going to be black, we're using black raspberries and black raspberries, no, blackberries. Yes. And raspberries. I gotta get my fruit right. Um, and this one's for the 4th of July because it's red, white, and blue, but you can use it for all different kinds. And so the traditional monkey bread is the caramel or the cinnamon base, and we're going to do a variation of it, um, and we're going to do it as quick as possible, so we're going to do the video today. So we're going to use, we're using orange rolls because we really like the idea of the orange rolls with the fruit, but, you know, any cinnamon roll or anything like that is going to be perfectly fine. You can start opening those. Don't scare yourself opening those. That's why you want to be <laughs> okay. And, um, and then, of course, we're using blackberries and we're using raspberries. These are on sale today, so that's why we chose these. You could use, obviously, strawberries or blueberries or um, I think apples and walnuts would be really good. Ooh, yeah. Um, I don't know how bananas would work. They would be yes. a little mushy, yeah. possibly, but so, something like that. So we are using... Thanks, appreciate that. So we're using healthy. blackberries and raspberries. Um, we're using a bit of basil. I have some whipped cream cheese that we're going to put on the top of it. This is an optional thing. You probably won't need it. Most of your containers come with one. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to take a bun pan like this. I was going to make her do this, but she's so slow. They're not slow. <laughs> and we're going to we're gonna spray our bun pans with spray. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Stupid pans. <laughs> Alright, so we sprayed our bun pan with spray and we're gonna take our rolls. <laughs> the show will go on. <laughs> oh, I cut the wrong spot. And you're gonna break them apart like this. And once you get them broken with broken apart. <laughs> that work how's that working out for you? Some of them are a little thicker, it's annoying, but such is the way it is. And I think this one. Thanks, Welcome. appreciate that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these and you're going to set them in and you're going to run them in your bunt pan the long Aren't way around. Them? No, you want to cut them first, don't you? Oh, yeah. My bad. Sorry. I was thinking of a different kind of bread. You don't have to cut them. You just go like this. Or do that if you want to be pretty. Whatever. Okay, so we are going to cut these apart into smaller chunks. And you are just going to lay them in your bunt pan so that you have kind of like a layer of, of the little pieces like so and you pass it off to your trusty assistant and have her put in berries on top half of them or all of them uh half let's do half and then you cut basil while you let your trusty assistant put in the berries you did wash these right of course you did i asked after i put them in they are all washed Okay, now it looks beautiful and I wouldn't mind sneaking a bite, except that would be gross because it's not cooked. It looks really pretty. Yeah, it is. Um, tilt it up so they can see what it looks like. I don't think they will get the full effect. I'm going to have to like approach the camera and get it close up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, so then you got your berries in, the, in there and so we're going to put a little bit of fresh basil in. Don't put a lot because this is a little bit overpowering for something sweet. but. This is really sweet, so we wanted to cut that sweetness down a little bit. All right, and then you're just going to repeat the process again. And so we're going to take and we're going to cut them because Lynette's type A and likes them all cut pretty. I would just rip you them. You can't pull them apart if they're not cut properly. Here you go. Go for it. Next batch. We're going to repeat. Seriously, is this the one that you totally mangled when you were opening it? Yes. You can tell. Here's the It's not actually the lie. You know that, right? <laughs> it's lie. <laughs> we could totally do this lie. We could start over. <laughs> We're not going. No, but we could totally do a lie. Yeah, we don't have enough ingredients to start over. All right, she's slow. So then you take and you put your fruit on top. You're doing your layer again. Don't get that in there. That'd be gross. More basil on top of that. Again. Yes. And then we are adding our cream cheese. Um, the top of it, it's going to kind of melt it up, and just we're just kind of putting a little bit of, of dollops of cream cheese here and there. This is completely optional. 
Some people don't like the cream cheese element. <laughs> Maybe that one there. I don't know. Thanks. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. And then we're going to put this in a 400 degree oven for, it's going to be about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, but you want to watch it because you don't want, obviously you don't want it to burn. So, keep an eye on that. And then we will show you a picture of what it looks like in the end at the bottom of this post. So, bottom of the post, check it out in the net. You're on camera duty. I'm going. Bye guys. I'm going.